All right, hello friends and welcome to Free Diving Hunter Spearfishing the World. I'm going to show you how to get the full 1000 in around four to six hours. It's going to depend on your load screens, um, how bad that game bugs, and things like that. So as we go along, we'll get to it. Nothing overly complicated here, but uh, we'll take some time. First off, what you're gonna do is you're gonna load into the training pool here. That's gonna get you the completed the tutorial achievement. Go through that. I recommend paying attention because there's some basic mechanics in there that you're gonna need to learn. Uh, it takes you around five to 10 minutes. Uh, but do that first and get that out of the way. Once you've got that done, head on back to the main menu here. Uh, and we're gonna head to the first map called Rookie Coast. As I can read. We're gonna load in. Straight away, we're going to pop another achievement. What we're going to do is we're going to tap our X button. As soon as I get control. We're going to dive down and we're going to sit here until our meter down in the bottom left, you'll notice where your lungs, reaches zero. You're going to do that ten times. That's going to get you the Blackout King achievement. Um, you'll notice mine's a little higher. It's because I've completed the game and earned uh, more oxygen, which will come in handy. Um, but for you, this should be low, and this is why you want to do it straight away. So you don't have to wait as long. But you're going to do that 10 times, get that over with, and you'll be on your way. Next, as you can see, I'm in the first map called Rookie Cove. Uh, it's going to look a little different from you when you first start the game. There's going to be a challenge going on as I've completed the game. There's no challenge going on. But there's the map over there, so we're going to swim over. We're going to go on to our next achievement here which is called Shark's Victim. We're gonna find a fish, any fish will do. Uh, let's see here, let's find a fish of some kind. Of course, I say that, can't find a fish. Let's find a fish. All right, and as you'll notice, this fish isn't moving. This will come in handy later as we go towards some other achievements. We're gonna shoot the fish. As you can see, that's one of the first bugs in the game. It's red, it doesn't hit, you'll run into that sometimes. It's frustrating, it's gonna happen. Happened again. Let's try again here. If I miss again. And let's try one more time. All right, so we ran into one of the first bugs of the game. As I said, this game will have some bugs. You're just gonna have to work around. Generally what I'll do if this happens, I'll just spin around. Come back around, shoot at it again, and of course that worked. So, we didn't get the next achievement that I thought we wanted to work on, but this will help us with one. As you saw, we had a pop-up there that said stoned. That's for shooting a fish like in its spine area. You're gonna need to do that. Uh, let's see, how many times do we need to do that actually? We're gonna need to do that 10 times. So go ahead, dive down, look for the fish sitting still, and uh, shoot him in the tail. On the other end of that, you're going to need to do the same thing for headshots 50 times. Do the same thing. Find that fish sitting still there and shoot it in the head 50 times. That's going to get you that achievement. Moving on to what we were going for called the shark's victim achievement. Let's try again. Let's see if we can hit this fish in the place we need to hit it in. We got stoned again, so there's a little bit more progress to that. Uh, anytime you catch a fish, you press B, go to the surface, locks it in. You do have to reel it in with the left trigger so you'll need to do that first uh, let's see if we can trigger this little mini game so we can work on this other achievement um let's see here do we have a fish do we have a fish that we can shoot there's a fish there let's see if i can hit him okay so this little mini game triggers we're gonna do nothing we're gonna sit here and do nothing let it fell out You're just gonna have to wait. And voila, the tax comes, the shark comes, eats it, collects its tax. You'll need to do that 10 times. It can be a little tricky um, because shooting the fish in the right place is a little difficult, but you'll need to do that. Um, I had to do it a few times. It's supposed to work on the first try, but uh, if you have to do it a few times, no worries, it will pop. Just do that, let it eat at your fish, and you'll be on your way. Now, for the rest of the game, at this point, we've done all the odds and ends. You've done your 50 headshots. You've done your 10 stone fish. You've done the one we just did. You blacked out. And now we're on to pretty much what we're going to be doing the rest of the game. And what we're going to do for the rest of the game 
we're gonna go back to our main menu here. Um, to go back to the main menu, you do have to be at the surface. So we're gonna go to the surface. You technically don't have to do this if you're in the game. I'm just gonna show you where I'm gonna start from. Um, so I'm going back. I'm gonna go to the Rookie Cove. It's gonna be the only map you have at this point. So we're gonna go back to Rookie Cove. And this is where the rest of the game is gonna start for you. Because your challenge will have just restarted against this person. So you'll be trying to complete a kind of a race. I think it's kill 50 fish or a certain number of fish or get a certain number of points or something like that. So you're going to look down from the boat. I spun around the wrong way. And there's our map over there. That's the main area we're going to be in. So we're going to look for four starfish, four bright orange, red, whatever you want to call it, starfish. And that's where we're going to spend the rest of our time playing this game on every single map is looking for these four starfish. As you can see, there's one here, there's one there, there's one there, and there's one over here. Now, at these starfish, you will see a fish. It's random as to which one it is. So we are just going to swim to each of the starfish. Develop your own route. It's random as to which one they're at. And then once we arrive at our starfish, we are going to shoot the fish in the head as it gives us the most points. Or we're going to miss like that. Now, we're going to continue to do that till we get our chain. Um, and right now, you'll need to complete your challenge against the person. You'll be in a challenge against the person. I'm, I'm in a free mode because I've completed the game. But you'll need to complete the challenge against the person. So swim around to the stars. Complete your challenge. Whatever it is for that map. Once you've completed the challenge for the map, you're going to be able to do free mode. At which point, you'll be able to do your chain of 100 kills by doing this over and over again. I recommend going ahead and getting this map uh, completed to where you can get into free mode and then do your chain 100 kills together. Uh, you can also spend your whole time here leveling up to the max level, which is another achievement, by doing this same thing all the way to you get to level 100. What that'll do is uh, that'll give you the air improvement to make the rest of the game much easier. So you could go ahead and do that here. If you don't want to do that, I would still recommend going ahead and getting the 100 kills after you've gotten into free mode just to get that achievement out of the way. Now, we're going to assume you've done all that. At this point, the only thing left in the game is to complete all the challenges. Uh, and you may still have to kill... Uh, let's see... What is the... No, you would not have because you've got your 100 kills. So you would not have to worry about that one either. At this point, all we have to do is get our challenges done. If that's if you've chosen to do the, the chain 100 kills together. And got max level. You, you don't have to necessarily get max level on this level, but I would recommend it as it makes the rest of the game easier. So we're gonna move back to the map and we're gonna rinse and repeat what we just did. We're going to the next map called Lighthouse. We're going to look for our four starfish. There are a couple levels that only have three but we're going to find our four starfish. Luckily for us, this level is fairly simple. Again, I'm going to use the boat as the point of reference. So if you're ever lost, return up to the, the surface of the boat. Look down. And right away, we can immediately see two of our starfish. So that makes it fairly simple. We're going to dive down. We can see our third starfish. So there's our third one. And we can see our fourth one over there. So again, as we did with the last map, we're going to dive down. We're going to look to see if our Stationary fish has spawned. He has not spawned in those, so that would mean that he is likely over at our fourth starfish. He is. We're going to shoot him. Like such. Reel him in. Complete our challenge. And as you can see, the streak does carry over from map to map. So if you wanted to continue on, you don't necessarily have to do it in the first map. But I would just recommend it as it makes it easier. You can get your full level, all that good stuff. So again, as you can see, four starfish. Locate them on your map, develop whatever route you want to check those each time. Go down, shoot your fish, come back up. Now, with that said, we may run into a little bit of the problem, especially when you're in your competitions. The competitor may shoot your fish that you were trying to uh, do, that they do have the ability to shoot the stationary fish as well. If that happens, um, just wait around for a few seconds, check all your locations, and see if the fish is back. 
Uh, if you run into a scenario where after you check them three or four times and they're not there, what I would recommend is servicing, saving your game and loading back in. It's possible the game has bugged a little bit and that fish is not spawning. So if you do run into that problem, that's what I recommend doing. Uh, you can also try shooting another random fish uh, to clear a fish off the map and thus your stationary fish could enter back into the map. That is another option you may have. But try either one of those, and we're on to the next map, Hop Heaven. Bun Hawk Heaven, we're gonna do the same thing, we're gonna load it up. Again, we're gonna use our boat here as our point of reference. We are going to dive straight down. It's straight away. We actually can't see any straight away on this map, so that's gonna make it a little bit more difficult for us. So what I'm gonna head is toward this little um, purple mushroom thing here. And then right away we can see one of our starfish, so there's one there. There's another one over there to the left, so we got two now. On this outside edge is the third one. And I believe this is one of the maps that only has three. I was not able to find another one on this particular map. You'll notice these starfish are not as bright, they are not what we're looking for. But as you can see, we got three on this map. So from our boat, when Rex, I'll just reshow that. I'm going to surface. As you can see, I'm going to try to start back where we kind of were. Here we are, starting point, we're diving down. We're looking for our purple mushroom here. Our clam or whatever this is, I don't know what this is, mushroom thing. There's one. You can see our second one through there. And then our third one is out on the outside here and just to show that a fish will spawn at one of these we will check it do, 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 do. let's see here uh there it isn't it is a bit random to some extent uh of course we don't have one so there is another one somewhere on this map i guess they can spawn under here but he spawned here so, a little bit of something extra you will have to check on this map, is they can spawn underneath here. I just saw them just a second ago. It could be underneath there, so just to the right of this little starfish, check out a little hole. Uh, I don't know where the fourth one is on this map, there is one, I have not seen it. But check those four locations, you should see a fish sitting still for you to shoot. It, move on. Uh, another important point to check is there is that little gap, which is kind of maybe easier. It's the same gap but from the other side. So just use your, your three star fish, you know, check kind of the gap over here and see if you see it. Surface. And we'll move on to the next map. Remember, you will be in a challenge against someone else when you first load up the map. It's the AI. Um, for the most part, it's not overly difficult. Uh, with this strategy, you'll beat them pretty easily. Uh, and we're going to go ahead and, at this point, we should have a good bit of coins. If I can get to the shop. How do I get to the shop? I can't remember how to get to the shop. We'll figure it out in a second. Uh, but we'll go on the next map, Kelp Dream. This is one of the more confusing maps, so I would recommend following the path I do here. So what we're going to do is we're going to dive down from our starting position. And of course, I've got to find the point of reference here because this one is quite difficult. But basically, all our starfish are in a line. So there's one right below us right away. There's one in the distance here. And I'm going to keep swimming in this direction. We're going to use this vine here as our next point of reference. And we'll find our third starfish there. And then what we're going to do from here is kind of work back across. You'll have already seen the other two points. So you'll be double checking. Um, but what I would recommend is swimming out of that point to start with. And then working back across the map here. Um, be careful here because the fish can spawn in like three different areas. So just kind of note all three areas. Keep moving across the map. Straight across. 
straight across. Doop -doo. There we go. And did I pass one of them up ready? Okay, this this map is one of the more confusing maps. So we got one. There's number two. This one does have four. So I'm gonna make sure I find the fourth one here. Again, this map's a little confusing, so I do apologize. It's just a little out of order, a little confusing to find. All right, so we've got to figure out our point of reference here again. I do apologize as we're making a guide live, so it's a little difficult to have this all kind of figured out. Okay, so we're on one here. It should be in a straight line, so this should be our father's album. They go here, that's two. Another one's over there, that's three. Where's our fourth one? There's our fourth one. Okay, our fourth one's over here, that's my bad. So, basically a straight line straight across. You can turn to the right and come over here. And there's our fourth one. So, a straight line, check the three. Check this one, use your boat as the point of reference, always go to the big tree on the end, kelp tree on the end, and work across with this map. Okay, so we're going to surface here. Um, and what I would recommend is, before we started this map, we should have went to gear. Um, you should have plenty of coins by this point to upgrade your gear. Uh, I would just recommend clicking into each of these, uh, each of your options here and buying the best option uh, across all the mass fins, guns, suits, and lights. Uh, you should have plenty of plenty of stuff. The main thing I would recommend is if you wanted to be quick about it, get the fins so we can swim faster. That's pretty important. Okay, so we, it does load us back into the same map. So we're gonna head back to location. We're going to head across. We're going to skip deep blue. You don't have to do this one for the achievements. And again, I don't know the exact order these maps will appear in. I know the ones on the left hand side, those we have already done, will all be in that order. You'll be able to do these, do those. So at this point, if, if someone's out of order, just, just skip to the map. That makes most sense for you. I don't know the exact order. But we're going to head to Ancient Ruins. This is probably the easiest to locate our four starfish on. We're gonna look directly down, and right away you might notice something kind of, kind of odd. We press our X button. We look down. We can already see one. We can already see two. We can see three. And then our fourth one should be right back there. As you can see, it is through this rock. We can't quite see it yet, unfortunately. So there it is. It's just a four square. Every time dive down, check the four squares, shoot your fish, return to the surface. As you noticed, I haven't shot any of the random fish that are moving. It's just much easier to just hunt these non-moving fish. Every map has them. Locate your four starfish or three starfish on some of the maps. Shoot the fish, return to the surface, get your points, move along. No harm, no foul. On to the next map. We've got just a few maps left here. And they get surprisingly about the same. <laughs> they don't get much harder, really. And as we move through our maps, we're looking down here. We are on Ghost Ship now. We're going to look down, press our X button as we do every single map. We're going to swim down. As we can see, we can see three right away. Uh, we should be able to see our fourth as well. There we go. So as you can see, immediately swim down. You can see all four starfish. Swim down. Check for your fish sitting still. Catch your fish. Return to the surface. Again, focus on the headshots if you can. Um, 
as they do score more points. Depending on the challenge, that may be important. Now we are heading over to Beast Realm. Again, I think it's a pretty quick and easy one to see where our starfish are, if I recall correctly. We're going to spawn in. We're going to look down. And actually, I was wrong. This is probably the most difficult one, <laughs> other than kelp. Kelp is definitely the hardest one to find our four, but this one's probably the second hardest. But what we're going to do on this map is we're just going to swim around the outer edge. As you see, there's two starfish here. Uh, it's usually right there, um, but just kind of check around this area. Uh, a fish will spawn here occasionally. And we're just going to stay around the outer edge, just because it's easier to navigate this map by staying on the outer edge. It will take you a little longer to swim around. No big deal with the points we're scoring. You should be able to beat the challenge Keep for this an map. Eye out on your lung timer to avoid blackouts. Thanks for that reminder, Mr. Voice Guy. I will do that. And here's our third one. Again, this is a map that I believe only has three. Um, actually, there's the fourth one. I'm an idiot. <laughs> there's the fourth one. So we got four little uh, starfish here. Again, just swim around the outer edge from those first two you locate and find your fish again you can't swim right up to the fish so if you've been doing that at this point i probably should have said it a little earlier you can't swim right up to the fish it will run away but you shoot the fish move along i assume you would probably know that but don't swim right up to the fish shoot it reel it in go to the surface and move on as you can see those are your four again we'll use the boat as our point of reference here let's see if we can find the boat just to double check to make sure we saw those there's our boat We'll spawn somewhere in this neighborhood. So we press X, we look down. We can see the one, and then we'll just work clockwise around the map. Actually, that's probably counterclockwise. Yes, counterclockwise around the map. To check all four starfish to the surface. On to the next one. And this is our last location that we actually have to complete a challenge in. It's important to note none of the challenges are more than 30 minutes for the most part. Um, some of the some of the um, ones against an uh, opponent may take you longer than that, but it's highly doubtful. And this is probably one of the, this is just a little more difficult to see. It's not hard to find the starfish as they're very bright on this map, but immediately right away we've got one and two. And then doo -doo 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 -doo, three is directly below us. If I move back this way, oh, you got pulled out. You go down a little more. Should find the fourth one. Uh, where is our fourth one on this map? This may be another one where there's not exactly. And as you can see, this is where another one of the kind of little buzz comes in. The game will start to look like a slideshow. So you may have to start and restart your game a couple times. Where the estimate of around six hours may come in if you get unlucky and have to redo that a lot. But this may be a map with only three, if I do recall. Um, as you saw when we spawned, and we could clearly see all three. The two that we could easily see, the one directly below us. And there's another one there. That's actually going to be probably our fourth one that I couldn't see from the surface. Let's see if we can find a fish to shoot. We haven't shot a lot of fish lately. Let's see if we can find one to shoot real quick. -do -do -do. A little bit more complicated map. Voila, there he is. We shot him. Build him in with our left trigger to the surface. And at this point, you'll have completed all your challenges. We have one achievement remaining and the reason we're saving this one for last as you'll see at this point i'm assuming you are level 100 you've got your fins upgraded so this next one will be quicker and once we are done with it we are done with the game we're going to head over to deep blue and this one is for reaching the deepest point in the game fairly simple we're going to spawn in 
I recommend swimming over to the line here. Um, as you can see, this is what a match would look like. Uh, I recommend swimming over the line, and we're just gonna start swimming straight down. Stay as close to the line as you can. This will take us around. Depending on the fins you have, this is why your oxygen upgrade is important. But depending on the fins you have, this can take anywhere from a minute to about three minutes. I would kind of notice a timer when you start this. Just say, hey, uh, you know, I'm starting this at such and such time. If I haven't reached it in three minutes, something may have happened. Just restart the level and dive down. It may take a few times. There's no real way to tell you've made it to the bottom. Uh, you don't stop swimming, really, or anything like that. So just keep going uh, and see if it pops. If it hasn't popped within three minutes, uh, restart the level and, and swim straight down. I do recommend staying near the line here. Uh, I'm not sure it will pop if you're not kind of within the, the vision of the line. So stay near the line and uh, swim down. And once you pop this achievement, congratulations, you have completed the game. Uh, nothing real difficult here. It's, it's pretty straightforward. It, the game is a little buggy. So just be patient with it. If you run into one of those bugs, just swim to the surface. Restart your game, come back in. It does save your progress as long as you restart from the surface. So always restart from the surface. And you should be fine. Other than that, I appreciate you guys checking out the guide. Hope it helped you. And other than that, we'll see you next time when I make a new guide. But if there are any questions, please let me know. Feel free to reach out to me on TA, on Xbox, whatever you need to do. Uh, it's Superfly. And uh, I'll try to help you. Best of luck, enjoy your 1,000 and free diving hunter, spear fishing the world. Bye, friends.